leg day. One day we're gonna look back at this and we might laugh at it. When I first started these, I could only do a 45 and a 25. So I started in October. It's the first week in June. When I first started these, I could only do 145. If you ever doubt yourself or compare yourself, don't do that shit. But what's up, y'all? If you're new to the channel, I'm Nate. If you're a fellow subscriber, one of the family, welcome back, fam. It's lead days. I'm going all in Pop out, fashion lights, we shut the world down <gasps> Going crazy in this bitch, I'm losing my sanity, I'm losing tea Chain smoking, I'm with the guys, we keep on running the splits I'm on fashion shit, no Rocky, but my fashion kills In the house when I pop out, I just super fly, pouring up seals I'm going out tonight No R. Kelly, but I got a bitch She wanna see me, gon' make a wish Then he like, she go with the wind Then she like, go good with it I made a post that back on my line I'm in the eye. I'm pushing the level, I'm pushing the lazy Switch up the engine, I put the V8 in Never gon' understand why they be hatin' Need to hear the doctor, take away your problems Spank her like a father, but I fuck her like it's no tomorrow Sit down with me, baby, put you in the ladies, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get crazy, but I love that shit, yeah, yeah. It get toxic, it get twisted, but I get wasted, though Seeing some shit, I am the shit, but I got a long ways to go Fun fact when I was in the 10th grade, three of my discs slipped out of my back and I was scared to do back. Like ever since then, like even in high school and like going into college, I was scared to do workouts with that pertain to back because I didn't know how to properly squat. So <sighs> I'm a little, I'm kind of proud of myself for going this far with it, but it's not shit yet. But and like when, I'm, when my back slipped out in high school, it was my sophomore year. I used to walk around like, like I couldn't stand up straight, like I look old as shit already, so But shout out to my dudes for taking me to the chiropractor and taking care of me Cause boy, I had a back brace and all My junior year, I played with a back brace cause I was still recovering But, you just gotta be patient And get it in Hope I'm not a certified junkie cause she would kill me To put it down and pick it up, I got a bad head Say I'm a sex symbol, this man to your mental I take your info and I pass it out, you bitch me Kempho Level S in my hand, take your life for Playing with the right guy cause I'm on that time on I'm on a different time in. I've been dealing with a lot, holding on to pain. Take a walk with me, baby. Walk through the rain. Can you see the pain in my eyes? Can you see the pain in my eyes? I hope you don't despise. Dealing with a lot, walking through the rain. Dealing with a lot, holding on to pain. Don't tell me you love me, just show me it's real. I'm scared of love, but for you, I'll be open. 2018, everything changed for me I was 16, turning 17, I lost my everything I like 20 niggas in the spot, then get fucked by me I had one nigga in my corner showing love to me Kobe, he sat with me inside the storm, that nigga picked up my crown Looked at me and said, bro, how you feeling, dog? I'm done I was tired of the fake, all these niggas, they ain't They using me for pussy and money, I can't relate I keep it real and real I keep it chillin' and trim I pop two beans to get a feel Can't go back to the old me I don't wanna meet him Said I wanna be gone But it's all in my head I'll be real I try to take my life Kobe was right there My bro, he saved my life I'm done, I'm through it 
good assumptions These bitches I be fucking Searching for my queen, I'm sitting on top of my mind I been dealing with a lot, holding on to pain Take a walk with me, baby, walk through the rain Can you see the pain in my eyes? See the pain in my eyes. I hope you don't despise. Dealing with a lot, walking through the rain. Dealing with a lot, holding on the pain. Don't tell me you love me, just show me it's real. I'm scared of love, but for you, I'll be over. Love of my life, hard to give up Overdosing, sentimental Open my heart and I got nothing Nothing left to give Fight every day while I'm in hell Hiding how you feel It's the second life that you live Guessing I'm not vulnerable, I gave you my word every day I got ahead of myself, I thought about a diamond ring You wanted my money, I wanted your heart, we not the same We too grown for the games, but fuck it, you was my queen in space Never understood no comprehension whenever I say That I love you, and I want you Learn your body the way you think to The way you think to Love is evil, backwards, now I'm sitting on my balcony Contemplating should I jump or not, my love is on it Listen to how I'm feeling, now I'm arrogant You can go find somebody, yes, you go find a better man Obviously I wasn't enough for you, I'm lesser than I'm walking away and now I'm done, I can't handle it I cannot be weak, you cannot defeat I'm not jumping off, cause I got a Pain with no gain, easy to give up Love of my life, hard to give up Overdosing, sentimental Open my heart and I got nothing Nothing left to give Fight every day while I'm in hell Hiding how you feel It's the second life that you live I walk my path alone, I don't ask no one for nothing Met my first love when I was 13, it's Robitussin Got a little older, now he's sipping pints of pro milk <laughs> We're about to go for a run. It's every day, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, it's every single day. When I first started, I got my feet wet, one to two days, whatever. It's every single day now. The only time I did it was when I went on vacation, but I still exercise. But this running thing is every day, bro. It's just, bro, when I, when I look back to who I was a year ago, what I was doing, like, you know, the memories will pop up, your phone will remind you. And I'm just so like disappointed in who I was and what I would do and where all my time and money went to. And uh, a lot of people say they don't have time to work out. And um, I get I get it, but I also don't because I know people that also say that have time to sit around and watch a movie. And I know we'd be tired, but you have time to sit around and watch a movie every night. You could go to the gym. I just, I don't know, I just, the way my mind is just completely changed is it frustrates me sometimes when I'm in the gym too like I don't know I just feel like I can go harder but I don't know this shit is all I want man and then with you guys behind me that push me and motivate me even more really not even motivate me just supporting me because I really genuinely I don't have really any motivation behind any of this it's just straight discipline and it's times like today, I did not want to get out of the bed, but I still got up out the bed. And it fucking sucks. Like, it sucks. But that's what puts the callus on your mind. When you do the things you hate, like you love it, like Mike Tyson said, it just changes everything. You do the things that you hate and act like you love it, it'll change a lot of shit for you. That's what got me over all the bad habits and stuff. And it's so easy to give in because it's been so many times lately where I've been offered the old habits that I've had just because I went on vacation and I was doing different things and I've been different places, but I've gotten offered, you know, drinks and, you know, smokes and all types of stuff. But I just say no every time. 
And when it happens, I don't really realize it's happening in the moment because I've already trained myself to say no to anything that could potentially backtrack me. So. But yeah, we're about to run. I'm over here stretching on the damn concrete. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys because if it, if it weren't for y'all, I feel like I probably would have fell back into that hole again. And I promise y'all, I'm not falling in that shit again. That shit is not fun. I don't want to ever visit that place again. I don't like that. I don't want to feel like that again. I'd rather be sad and healthy than sad and sick. You feel me? And this this is just the start, bro. I'm 22. And whoever's watching this, it's not too late to start. We about to go run, though. About to go execute my legs. Yes, you can run after you lift weights. It does not hurt you. I promise if you ever, if you're wondering, can you can you run after you lift? Yes, run after you lift. Don't run before unless you know you got your workout like your spreadsheet is just you feel me. You got the you got the plan and meal plan. However, your coach might have you set up, or if you don't have a coach and you're like me, you just went in there and you just trying to get it together and you going hard. My boy, that's uh my not my trainer, but he's a trainer here. My guy, he told me um. I always run after, after your workout, so let's go. I just did one mile real quick. Um, compression shirts and running um, don't go together in the summer, spring, whatever. The heat, I probably just shaved like two pounds off of one mile. Bro, it's so hot with this one. Like, I feel like I'm even running slower. I'm about to take it off. It's cool for the beginning, but, bro, I won't lie. This mug is hot, bro. I need to get the running one, not the one for the winter, my dumb man. I will say, obviously, the hardest run is leg day for me personally. Two times out the week, they be the worst. Once you get flowing, it's a wrap. Don't wear compression shirts when you run. Not this one, at least. Get the runner's one, because my boy, Listen, that ain't no fun. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I'm gonna try to record all the time for y'all. Like all the time, for real, for real. Cause this is all I got. I just want y'all to, I really do appreciate everything. Like I know I probably, I say it a lot, but like for real, for real, this shit is fire. Like. I won't take it for granted, I promise. Like right now as we speak, I'm killing the old me now. He doesn't exist. I don't wanna be tied anything to that liar or wimp or scrub. Like I don't wanna be tied to none of that. So we've been killing him for the past seven months. Really strong four months we've been killing him though. We're super strong. But I'm about to start my run back again. Got it on a tuck, so. Let's get back busy. Tip 101, never run with thermal on. My dumb man. I was just so eager to go though. Like when it's time to run, my my biggest setback is stretching in the beginning because I dead ass be ready to go. Like as soon as I get done, I'm ready to just run out the gym, just go straight to it. But I'm working on controlling that, self-control. That's how uh, you get hurt and I won't perform as well, but. I'm not gonna lie, man. I know this channel is different from a lot of other channels, but I appreciate all of it, all of y'all. Just taking a different take with it, you know? But fresh out, you know, time for lunch. I'm about to make some steak and potatoes. And then we're gonna probably run to the store. And um, yeah, so I wanted to show y'all my somewhat morning afternoon right now, so. But update, I'm currently like 185, something like that. But I'm gonna talk to y'all once I get clean because I'm disgusting right now. What's going on? I'm back. I just finished eating like 
I showed y'all what I ate. I had the steak, mashed potatoes, and then I took a shower, all that stuff. I'm about to go pull up on my fam and go by the shop and do some stuff like that. And um, but I was just thinking, like, how everybody want to do this, like, you know, healthy lifestyle, but a lot of people, like, half-ass it. And it's just, like, if you're going to go all in, just go all in. That's the thing that I've really learned over the time. Just don't even bullshit yourself. Just go full force. And don't look back, you know, and you're going to mess up regardless. Why not mess up trying? And I've seen people ask me about, like, the workout routine and stuff. If y'all want, like, in-depth workout routines, like, I need to know if that's what you want to see. Like, in-depth or just, you know, when I get in there from stretching to when I leave to when I run. Like, if that's what y'all want, like, let me know what you're trying to see. Like, do you want me to talk to you? Do you want to just listen to the music? Like, what are you trying to do? It's definitely about to rain outside. Definitely. I love Betty by being old, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm type person. I try to. I be real. I I would hold on to stuff until it don't work no more. Like I try to. That was a big problem that I've also realized I had. Like I would hold on to people that I didn't need to hold on to, and that kind of coincides with my situation right now. My car. It's not that it's broken. It's just like I hold on to things because I don't know. I just I've always had a hard time letting go. Like, for instance, for example, whenever I've dealt with something hurtful or heartbreak or something like that, whatever the case may be, I always have a bad, like a really bad habit of holding on to the benefit of the doubt. And I really got to stop that because it's gotten me nowhere but wasted time from what I've realized. And um, I mean, it's God's timing, you feel me? But it's very, it's like really disappointing to see how long it takes for you know, certain people to wake up and like me, I'm people, like how long it took me to get it together. But so if you feel like you're in a rut, it, it's all right. Cause it'll, it'll prevail as long as you let it prevail. So if you just sit there in a rut and you want somebody to feel bad for you, you're going to remain there. You're going to remain in that situation and you're never going to get out of it. You'll forever remain in a sad loop. But hold on, police about to pop out. To get out of the rut, you have to do things that aren't normal for you. So you gotta change, you know? People be thinking they just gonna wake up and become a millionaire. Like, what are you putting forth towards becoming a millionaire if you're not waking up to make it happen? You know what I mean? Working, working that job every day is not gonna make you a millionaire. I promise you that, and I'm sorry to say that. But, I mean, unless it's, you know, one of them real deal jobs. Like, you know what I mean? But, if you think you're gonna become a millionaire just off of working your plant job or whatever the case may be, it's not happening. You gotta take that risk. You feel me? I took my risk, and that's how I'm here right now talking to y'all. Like I took the risk, um, and there's multiple more that'll come. You feel me? But I took a risk in August last year of August. I was working a job. I swear I was. Like I was so upset. Like just depressed i didn't want to do it like I, I was there for too long i never felt like i was meant to be there and like i never could get a job either like high school i'm talking about bro i had interviews i'm getting dubbed but i know how to talk i know how to present myself i know how to dress i know how to do all of these things but i could never get a job in high school and i could never really get a job in general and i'm like what is wrong with me like am i do I have like stupid written on my forehead or something? Cause I'm not understanding why I can't get these jobs. And um, it started to make sense as time went on because I realized those jobs, yeah, they put money in my pocket, but there's other ways that you can put money in your pocket. I'm not disregarding getting a job. Get a job, you know what I'm saying? Pay the bills, but don't. I feel like a lot of people just get content and complacent cause they feel like their life is stuck. Bro, we're in our twenties, it's okay. Work the job. You think I, I've seen and I've met so many, not so so many, but I've seen a lot of people that are older than us. Like they're very much more wise, you know, they've lived a lot more life than us that didn't become, you know, successful until 30, 40, whatever the case may be. I'm not saying that's me and I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying you can use that for a reference. That's all I'm trying to say. If you get disappointed in yourself, it's okay. Pick your head up, keep it moving. Because if you stay down for too long, it's going to be way harder to get up. The quicker you stand back up, the better results you'll have. You get knocked down, pick it back up. Anything. That goes for anything in life. And don't focus on relationships. 
Focus on what you gotta do. That's something that I had to learn. The relationships, they teach you a lot, but you gonna waste a lot of time investing yourself into somebody else who really don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful. But enough for the chit chat. We about to pull up over here. We about to pull up to this shop. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. It's about to rain, so it's about to be a calm day for real for us. So I'll see y'all in a second. I might do a, uh, I might cause traction and do a meet and greet. Y'all, we made it to the shop. Boy, your egg lag. Uh, you back too. <laughs> so, Where Claudio at? Uh, he gonna go get some ice cream and shit. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, Jay. Jay. Damn. What's you say Claudio went where? Get some ice cream. For you, your little childish head. What I was doing here? You was in here. I was, I was talking about the mess thing. You said it was your Mustang outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Claudio knows, Claudio knows. <laughs> What's this, bro? Camera? Yeah, nigga, don't touch my shit. <laughs> 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 Y'all, look at this shit. 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 Yeah, bro, that would hurt a little bit. I wouldn't do you like that, though, bro. You like to play. Bro, I'm so hungry, bro. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Twin. Wear this today. <laughs> you, so li you so little, bro. <laughs> Don't be throwing nothing in on my camera. Bro. Partner. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Boy. Yeah, man. So this shop opens up on the 15th, so I expect to see y'all here. But where are we going to eat at? That's the question. There he is right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had to feed your little punk ass. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had to feed my little punk ass. <laughs> bro, he, he is funny, He is funny, bro. <laughs> He is funny, bro. You need a salad, nigga. You need a salad. You said chicken. Oh my God, bro, you're funny. You're a funny guy, David. And don't record me. Boy, ain't nobody recording you anyways. Go, go sell him that shirt right now, David. Show me your skills. With, with the ice cream. With the ice cream in your hands. Hurry up, he coming. Hurry up, he coming. You talking about business. You eating ice cream on your phone, boy. What are you doing, David? That's what's going to show me something. True, boy. True. Yeah, y'all, we in here. We chilling. We about to go get some food. If they not going right now, I might do it because I'm hungry as hell. So I'll see y'all in a second. A catfish special for... Eleven ninety nine or wings. Which one do we want to eat, y'all? Which one? We going catfish or we going wings? See who can guess it right. Comment which one you think. Which one am I picking? Man. So they want to use a six for twelve. I'm a big bag. I'm gonna eat regardless. Yeah, I'm downtown right now. It's well, dead. It matter, it's dead out here though. Just the way I like it. Unbothered. Y'all, when I went in the shop, the guy that's there, the little kid I was messing with, don't take that personal, bro. He's he's a good kid, man. He works in the shop. It opens on the 15th of this month of June. Y'all can meet me there. I will be there that day. It's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Uh, it's called Segunda. It'll be downtown. And we can do like a little pop-up there. If you follow my Instagram, like right here, I'll post it uh, when I'm going to be there. So... I'll post it on the 15th, so I'll see y'all there. I hope it's good. Looking ass though. Looks dead. So with the catfish special, what you're gonna get. Bro, we look nothing alike now that I ain't got lots, bro. Just the cheat, just the, the cheese. Bro, facts. Yeah, y'all, we about to do a mukbang. I'm about to answer all these questions. Nah, I'm lying like here. Yeah, I ain't got no mukbang. But we're going to order this food. I'm going to definitely show y'all what it look like. And then, yeah, we'll see what's next on the agenda today.
we be going on random side quests, so. All I know is it better be good. Let me try one of the fries. Y'all, put that lemon on that mug. Y'all know me. We got a crush, so. Once I get done with this, I'll spin back on y'all. I'm gonna see if it's good though first. Oh yeah. That's good. Real good. Y'all, I ate in like two minutes. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Talking about not even a chance stands with this. Me and food locked in like that. We go together. Would you believe me if I told you I was still hungry? Big bat. This water tastes like sink water. Yeah, I'm ready to run my marathon soon. Y'all think I'm gonna be ready for my marathon? I ain't never seen this many people running out here though. I know I be seeing people running, but I ain't never seen. Yeah, Unk, Unk is moving. I'm sipping this water because I'm parched. That food was fire, I recommend it. Nah, he know what he doing. He know what he doing. Everybody trying to get in shape, man. We on the way back to the shop, about to see what's good work going on. I'll see y'all there on the 15th. So, I'm gonna get it with y'all in a bit. I don't know about y'all, I just stepped outside, but this right here, this type of weather, I'm really showing y'all where I'm from. This is my hometown. Y'all don't know, I'm from Swatford. But this is my type of weather. You see the sky? It's dark, it's nice outside, I love it. But I just wanna show y'all what it felt like outside. But this is what the front of the store look like whenever you pull up. So I'll see y'all soon. But I'll talk to y'all when I get home. All right, you guys, I know I said I'll see y'all when I get home, but I figured I'd share what just happened. So I was outside, as y'all saw in the last clip, but I had just put my, you know, stuff down or whatever. And then a uh, the guy that came up to me, he knew who I was, and he does stuff for these type of people. Acai bowls, this is called Google bowls. I was like, yo, bro, free bowl, if you pull up, it's right down the street, I'm gonna pull up. So I pulled up. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is so fire, right? It's so gas, I cannot lie to you. But I wanted to show y'all, cause I know some people ask what I eat. And I be eating acai bowls and cocoa bowls, it says with health in mind smoothie bar. So, but it's really, really good. I cannot lie to you. Like I kind of freestyled my order, but it was, it's perfect. Like I needed this right here. This is amazing, so. This is one of the snacks that I do eat, so expect more. To, expect, expect to see more of these. Fire! All right, you guys. So I made it home. I currently got a mess on the bed. I got to do my laundry, and it's been a good day. I took y'all along with me, basically from sun up to sundown, with like most of what I was doing today, and um, I think it was a good day for all of us. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I do really want to just like express how thankful I am for like. Hold on, let me sit down. I want to just say how thank like how thankful I am for you guys and like all your support and all of this stuff because I'm I'm living life 
just like you are and uh we we are trying to figure it out i'm living life just like you are and i appreciate you know the the love and the hate all the messages whatever it is um anything under the sun i'm appreciative of it and i just want to say thank you guys because i feel like i've said thank you a lot this video but i just really want to let you guys know how thankful i am and i promise like I have something for you guys soon. You just have to keep rocking with me and let time do its thing and we'll figure it out. But it's been a great day. I have to do this laundry. You know how I go. Just like we all be having laundry days. It's just sitting on my bed right now and I just don't. I would show y'all, but I just don't want to. I don't even want to look at it right now. Like, But I'm going to do it. But if you made it this far to the end of the video, um, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, drop an XO so I know you locked in and legit. Uh, but we got the vibes going. It's time for bed. You know what I'm saying? And um, before I do close out this, I do want to say I saw something earlier. And I was reading about something that said, If you knew a delicious strawberry was poisonous, would you still eat it? Truthfully, though, would you still eat the strawberry if you knew it was going to be poisonous? Or if you're allergic to strawberries and it looks so good. Would you still eat it knowing you're going to have an allergic reaction? I saw that today. And as soon as I saw it and read it and listened, I just it just instantly clicked. If you know it's not good for you, why are you holding on to it? And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, I was just talking about that to you guys earlier. Like, that is so true. And I just want to, I just wanted to, like, sprinkle that right there for you because I feel like, it really resonated with me, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Because y'all know me, I'm going to share it with y'all. But I thought that was, um, that really hit home for me. And I was just like, damn. So, anything in your life that you feel is a latch and you can't let go of it, I know it's frustrating and confusing because it's a battle and a fight with, you know, why is... Why does she, why does this person feel so good to me? Or why does this thing feel so good to me if it's not good for me? And that's the battle back and forth that we fight. And I'm currently figuring it out too. What's the meaning behind it? But I did want to say that to y'all because I thought that was, I thought that was really uh, special. Like to how it was broken down. I've heard it before, but just in a different manner today. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. So um, I'm saying that to wrap it all up with, letting go and letting go is hard and if there's any of like my friends my old friends that's watching you know what i'm saying i i love all of y'all you know what i'm saying my real friends that's been there done that whatever like i love all of y'all you know what i'm saying and more importantly my supporters because my my people that's here is here for me you know but my supporters you guys thank you guys for all of it so but y'all keep your heads up we got a lot to do a lot of business to take care of including this laundry I got over here. But I love all y'all. I'll see you guys soon. XO is out.